bells, words of wisdom from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, hi there. It's ML with ML's words of wisdom from Wisconsin. And today's show is all about the funny section and the brain teaser section that's in the local newspaper. Now, I've just discovered this because, um, you know, you're reading the news and it's just so heavy and so chock-a-block full of stuff that's going on all over the place. Sometimes you just need a little palate cleanser. And that's what this section is. Now, when I was growing up in Kenosha, Wisconsin, we used to get the Chicago Tribune and the Milwaukee Journal. And I used to love the funny pages. We called them the funnies. Though they're really not that funny. They're not like hilarious, okay? But but it, it's it, 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 kind of, you know, if you read it with a funny voice to like a youngster or an oldster and they laugh, you know, that's, that's it makes it all fun, you know, doing it that way. So anyway, we used to get the funnies. I used to love Dick Tracy. Oh, that was my favorite funny. They don't have him anymore. But what they do have now also... They still have Peanuts and Blondie and Beetle Bailey and Garfield and, and whatnot. Dennis the Menace. Oh, that was a funny. He was so naughty. Anyway, what they also have now on the, is like the brain t teaser. This is like you got to put your thinking cap on. Look at this one. They have a crypto quip. And what you do with this, if you've read Codes and Secret Writings by Scholastic, like I have, cover to cover, then you know how to, to di decipher what this little secret message says. And they give you a clue. See, it says C equals X. So you go through and you change every C into an X and every X into a C and see if you can decipher what the secret code is. It probably says drink bar Ovaltine like in that movie Christmas story. Okay, and then they also have like a Ken Ken. It's like a Sudoku. I love Sudoku. Um, you, you have to get numbers one through six and you have to do the little math in each box. It's a, that was hard. That one's hard. Okay. And then this one, I love Jumble. Say, here's a little cartoon. So you read the little cartoon, they give you like a little clue, and then they give you like the little saying that you're supposed to decipher. And then they give you the words that are all jumbled up. Get it? That's why they call it the word jumble. Okay. And so, like this first word, oh, top. Now, that's not a word, I don't think. So you have to unscramble it. And it's either like pooth. Thoop, Osop, Pozo. Well, you get the gist. It'll come to me at 3 a.m. and then I'll do another show on that and tell you, I'll tell you what these decipher, deciphered words are. Okay, so that's a fun one. They give you the horoscope and the contract bridge. It used to be Omar Sharif used to do the contract bridge. Anyway, and then this is the fun. This is the P.S. the Resistance. The New York Times crossword puzzle. Oh. It's really hard, okay? You need a PhD to do it. You really do. But they have one that's a junior. That's called the Joseph crossword. Now, I don't know. Joseph is the one who does this one. And this is, you know, this is like a warm-up. If you can do the Joseph, you can do the New York Times. And, and do it in pencil. And then go and graduate to pen. You know, don't be afraid to attack it. Don't be afraid. Never be afraid to use your mind. Okay, so this is the Joseph. So, like, number one across, five letters, fuel sources. All I can think of is like oil, gas, that's three letters. Diesel, maybe that's, that's it, diesel. Uh, wood, that's four letters. Except if you use it as a homonym. You know, like I would like to go there. W-O-U-L-D, wood. Sometimes they allow homonyms in these crossword puzzles. You have, to, you have to ask them, send them an email and see what they say. Now, the New York Times crossword puzzle let me just read you some of these clues and see if you, my viewers, you probably know because you're all so smart. And all of my subscribers, you're all so smart. Okay? Composer of the Day Cannabin Wunderhorn Collection. What does that even mean? Okay? Go Google it. Get on the Google and figure that one out later. Okay, here's another one. Good thing to have on hand during winter, 18, five letters across. Well, that would be wood. 
but with the home in them, W-O-U-L-D. And si since it's two crossword puzzles right next to each other, it's cross word, word cross. So crisscross, they'll allow you to crisscross the same homonym across the different crossword puzzles. Just send them an email and ask them if you can do that. And, and they'll probably say, yes, why not, you know? And so, so that's just one, one thing to do and, and a fun way to like spend a Sunday afternoon when, when you've got nothing else to do, okay? Well, I hope that this has given you some ideas and some tips. Put on your thinking cap, everybody, and enjoy the funnies and the brain teasers. Okay, bye-bye now. Photo. That's the word for the word jumble.